this unit deals with extracting all pattern parts of browser using the technique of tracing and duplication by providing appropriate seam and fold allowances. The separated patterns will have a description of each part such as name of the part, green line, notch marks, number of parts to be cut and the size of the garment. By the end of this unit, students will be able to derive various parts of trousers drafted in this method, select appropriate seam finish, apply appropriate seam allowances and provide notch marks according to the fold and seam allowance. The draft has been completed. Uh, you have seen the draft completely step wise. Now I have the complete pattern draft having front leg, back leg, pocket placements and other details. Now let us move to separate the front leg and back leg. Of course other parts like waistband, pocket backs of hip pocket that is a back pocket and diagonal pocket in the front. Of course front flies to attach the J zip and loops patterns and under fly for the front, under waistband, etc. So let us start with separating the pattern of front leg and back leg. Add seam allowance. The seam allowance again depend upon the finish. Normally the seams in the trouser finished with open seam with overlock or surging the edges. While making the waistband, waistband can be made with the two piece waistband or one continuous waistband. Here the waistband will be two piece because it is a trouser, formal trouser. If it is a pant, yes it can be finished with a continuous waistband. Since it is a trouser, preferably it is it should be two piece waistband. Seam allowance in the back of the trouser varies from trouser to pant. If it is one continuous waistband then the seam allowance in the back rise will be half an inch whereas if it is two piece waistband then seam allowance will be different uh, having uh, adjustable waist circumferences. The advantage of uh, having two piece waistband, you can adjust you know some extent uh, up to one, one and a half inches you can adjust with you know increasing and decreasing. Now let us move to add seam allowance, here it is a open seam, if it open seam so all over one centimeter to half of uh, 12 mm, 12 millimeter. Preferably side seams and in seam, it is a 12 mm. Of course, front rise and back rise uh, <coughs> 1 mm, 1 centimeter, sorry, or it can be uh, 12 mm if it is pant. If two piece waist pant, it is a different seam allowance, which I am going to demonstrate now. Uh, you can uh, understand better after adding the seam allowance and separation of the pattern. So waistline always it is 1 centimeter. The back waistline to be curved once I fold the dot legs, the curve will be there in the back waist arc. Coming to back rise seam allowance, you can start with the 4 centimeter 
whereas the front can be 1 centimeter. See back will be 4 centimeter and uh, at uh, hip level 2 and half centimeter. then gradually ends with the 12 mm which is half an inch and it can be increased to one and a half centimeter then coming to in leg or in seam you can take half an inch that is a 12 millimeter Your seam allowance to be added to the back side seam, back leg side seam. Coming to bottom hem fold can be 5 centimeter, 5, 
centimeter. With this, I have added seam allowance all around. Here it is uh, one centimeter. Here it is. Uh, Four centimeter. End up with uh, twelve mm or uh, one point two centimeter. The entire inseam is one point two centimeter. Hemline is five centimeter. Hemline is five centimeter. Side seam one point two centimeter. Entire side seam is one point two centimeter. Now it's a separation. I start with separating and blending the uh, back way stock. Here you need to close the dart to blend the back waist arc. Uh, crease the back dot, crease the back dot leg like this, then fold it to other See, you will get now angular shape. This should be placed like this. Then use hip curve to blend the waist arc of the back leg. Now this is the arc of the back leg. Now I start with cutting from bottom line. It's always advisable when you cut bottom hem line that has to be folded because when you complete the bottom hem line, the hem line will be folded and given finish with the stitch lines. So it has to match. It's advisable to cut on fold. Then cut on the seam line. See when you fold it, uh, keep increases towards the knee line. 
hands you need to fold this so that when you fold the hem line the edges will match or align accurately. Moving to waist stock. When you cut waist stock same way you need to fold this seam allowance and close the dart and hold like this so that you get the dot cap alignment. See this is the shape of the dot cap and when you unfold this, this is the shape you get here, this is the shape you get here. So it is advisable to fold and cut, so dot will be uh, finished with uh, neat finish. The dot leg can be continued. till the edge. Now moving to the crotch line. This can be taken right angle. That is a perpendicular, perpendicular to the crotch line. Then again coming to hemline you need to fold and cut. This is the leg we get after adding seam allowance. Now let us transfer this to the pattern paper. So take a brown paper with sufficient length, then place it on the sheet, then start tracing. The hip line of 
the back then the <coughs> crotch line thigh line dots and pocket knee line and bottom line Of course, crease line, After tracing all the lines, then trace the perimeters of the shape. Once you trace all the lines, you can ensure whether lines are clear. Then it is clear. Remove the draft pattern.
see this is the trace pattern now draw all the lines draw all the lines by connecting respective points I can use the marker but it is advisable to use pencil. dot legs pocket placement then crease line it can be used uh, the back as a green line need to ensure all the cow lines after all the marks 
start cutting. You can clear the line by erasing whatever left out marks. See this is a back leg, <coughs> can be taken now for cutting the fabric, this is a seam allowance, fold allowance can be shown with lines then then half an inch half an inch or 12 mm it should be 12 mm since we are developed pattern using centimeter and millimeter so it's advisable to 
apply the same unit which use it to develop patterns. It is ad also advisable to familiar with both inches and centimeters. Then here it is 1 centimeter Finished back leg. Then you can write the part name by considering this line as a green line. Back leg. size 32 uh, tracing of uh, front leg after completing the back leg so the back leg one which outer line is completed now the the inside line which refers to the front leg front rise to be traced and cut now to complete the leg patterns So add seam allowance. Front rise eleven mm
please add the seam allowance along the curve line. The side seam of a back leg and front leg will be similar till the hip line. From hip line, the front side seam curve will be dipping towards the center front. Remember, in the side seam I have given 12 mm seam allowance, whereas in the center front of the front leg is 11 mm. The sides it's 12 mm. These uh, dots, dots and packets can be erased, which is not required in the front portion. This can be folded here 
and cut the front waist stock remember don't confuse with the bad crotch line or back rise front rise is a straight this will be the front leg these uh, lines which are applicable to back pattern can be erased after separating front from the back pattern place on the brown sheet and trace all the lines applicable to front pattern that's uh, important line is a crease line hip line thigh line knee line bottom line of course crease line at bottom line in between the waist arc and bottom line it's also advisable to mark the crease line on thigh and knee using tracing paper trace all the line
with this tracing is over ensure all the lines are clear then remove the basic pattern or draft pattern then trace all the lines or draw all the lines which already traced crease line Now of course you also have to trace the pocket mark which I left while tracing other lines. So you can always place it and trace. It's, it's, it's a diagonal pocket placement Now ready to cut the pattern.
if line is not clear you can redraw always Any errors can be trimmed off or adjusted. So you can mark the seam allowances 12 mm. to LMM to LMM and to LMM moving to waistline one centimeter Moving to center front 11 mm. <coughs> Moving to inseam 12 mm. With this completing the front leg pattern. You can always, uh, you know, place this front leg on the back leg and see the alignment of uh, side seams and back seam. 
so you can place here the separated legs can be placed here and check the alignments of side seams and match if there is any error, any errors can be adjusted at this level too remember it is always uh, important to check in pattern level the purpose of making pattern to get accurate pattern accurate garment uh, so always uh, you know you need you can cut and uh, you know check yeah then alignment on all the parts in seams So anything, any errors, any errors can be adjusted always. Yeah. With this separation is uh, completed. Separation is completed. Now we have to move to make uh, parts of uh, trouser, waistband, waistband, pocket bag front pocket bag, back pocket bag and the fly. Now let us draft a waistband which is a two piece waistband. As I told while drafting the waist arc, uh, adding seam allowance when separation take place, I have mentioned that the waistband can be finished with uh, you know various types. One type is uh, uh, continuous waistband, another one is a two piece waistband, the third is a curved waistband that is a phasing. Here we are going to do a, a two piece waistband. Uh, normally we do two piece which has advantage of uh, adjusting the waist circumference in case if it is uh, uh, loose or tight uh, can be adjusted up to 3, 3 to 3 centimeters is uh, left hand side waistband. Now for this uh, draft we have waist circumference 82 centimeter. See half of 82 is a 21 centimeter. Uh, I will draft the left hand side waistband then go for right hand side waistband. Left hand side wa waistband is overlapping on left hand side waistband. So now let us uh, draft waistband for left side. Draw a square line. Label this as point A, point A, A to B of waist circumference plus 1 centimeter that is uh, 41 plus 1, so 42 centimeter. 20.5 centimeter which indicates a side seam Now draw 
perpendicular line from A B C. from B to D the extension of the waistband that can be optional in case of cut waistband no need to give that extension otherwise it can be up to 3 inches here in this case I am keeping 6.5 centimeter to 7 So, measure 6 for this style and square down or draw perpendicular line from point D to D also. A to B half way circumference plus 1 centimeter, B to C is front waist arc, B to D is extension which is optional. Then A to E waistband width. Then draw a perpendicular line from point E even waistband width also optional in this case it is 4 centimeter. The intersection at uh, point C will be F and intersection at B is G and intersection at D is H. Now, mark center of D and H is 2 centimeter. This is to give a shape. Is point I. D to I is 2 centimeter which is center or uh, midpoint of D and H. Then from D measure 1 and half centimeter and from H also measure 1 and half in centimeter to give the shape. Yeah. Then place a button wool mark from point C one centimeter away. Point I one centimeter 
away. is a left hand side waistband. For menswear the waistband of left hand side overlaps left hand side of the waistband whereas women's it reverts right overlaps on left. So this will be the draft for the left hand side waistband. After draft of left hand side waistband, now let us draft right hand side waistband. The measure measurements are same, but the extension part is different. So, draw a perpendicular line or straight line. The left hand side draft have started from right to left that is from right towards left A, B, C, D. Now the right hand side draft will start from left hand side and move towards right hand side. So draw square line from point A square line or perpendicular line. Yeah. Point A. A to B is equal to A to C. So, you can transfer a to C measurement which is A to B is same as left hand side waistband that is half waist circumference plus 1 centimeter equal to 42 centimeter. A to B half waist circumference plus 1 centimeter. A to C is equal to AC, A to C in the left hand side waistband. Draw perpendicular line from point C and B. from point A measure waistband width 4 centimeter. Then draw parallel line
to a b. The point intersects at a will be e. From point B measure extension for the center front as equal to the pocket width which is uh, fly width fly 4 centimeter same width can be measured here and the square down here too or right, draw right angle. point D. B to D is a extension which is equivalent to fly width. Now, the point intersects at D will be, I will start from here, the point intersect at A will be E F at C intersection and B intersection is G then D intersection is H, is just uh, reverse of the left hand side waistband. Now, mark a shape from point D which can be shaped one and a half centimeter from point B and one and a half centimeter from point D on A B line. With this right hand side waistband completes. Now, let us move to make waistband which I have already shown the diagram for left and right waistband that is the trouser finished with the two piece waistband. It can be also finished with the continuous one waistband single waistband. So, now I am going to have left side waistband and right side waistband. There will be a difference of uh, left and right waistband by giving more length extension in the left waistband and shortening in the right side waistband. Take a piece of paper with sufficient uh, length then fold it off crease it crease it the other one also repeat for creasing Now, you can place the crease line or the draft line, leaving excess on both sides and mark the 
points this is A, C, B and uh, the mark given to shape. Yeah. Then take out and draw a perpendicular line from all the markings. Now, measure the width of the waistband is 4 centimeter. will be like this. This is the left side waistband. Now, you can mark the center and connect as shown in the draft. From here you need to measure excess which provided in the back leg at back that is uh, 4 centimeter then draw perpendicular line after that add seam allowance. Now you can cut the waistband on seam line. left side waistband provide green line and write the part name left side waist 
band size 32 cut 1. Now let us move to right hand side waistband. Again place it on the draft and mark A, C, B and D. See ensure here we need uh, excess then take it separate and uh, drop a perpendicular line from all the marks. measure width of the waistband that is 4 centimeter Here you need to give a shape that is a 2 centimeter on both sides. Then give a shape like this. Yeah. Then after giving shape in the front, move to back, measure same extension which given to left hand side is 4 centimeter as per the seam provided in the center back leg. Now add seam allowance 1 centimeter is uh, given in the legs of the front and back. here also 1 centimeter. Then this end also to be given seam allowance 1 centimeter. Then
right hand side waistband provide green line and right right side waistband cut one size thirty two Now let us uh, move to make uh, notch marks, notch marks so that the operator will identify the seam allowance provided in the pattern. Uh, after separating uh, front and back legs, we need, need to do other spare parts like uh, waistband, fly top and under, front pocket bag, back pocket bag, loops patterns. In the draft itself we can uh, draft the pouches and fly so that the alignment will be as per the placement of the pocket openings. The measurements is given in the measurement chart can be followed or else the measurement which I am going to show can be also followed. The first draft is a fly, fly is used to attach zipper front closure which can be designed or drafted on the complete pattern draft so that later we can separate it. Fly length is 20 centimeter from waistline, mark 20 centimeter from waistline. Then width is uh, 3.8 centimeter which should be measured to front rise line or front crotch line. Then draw a parallel line to the center front line in the front leg. Then shape as shown. This can be traced and taken separate, which will be front top fly. Front top fly continues to the front rise line. I'll show it in. Uh, different color so that easy to make out. Front fly. Using front top fly, we have to develop 
underfly which placed on other front that is uh, right front. Now let us move to front pocket bag or pouch. Uh, your pocket is designed for diagonal cut. So the pocket pouch also should be matched with the cuts or angles whatever whatever given in the main sketch or main diagram. Uh, from point K here in the draft point K measure 12.5 centimeter which is a front waist arc front waist arc again I am using different color to indicate uh, pocket pouch this is the point K on this line need to measure 12.5 centimeter then from K on the side seam measure 25 centimeter you can measure along the curve 25 centimeter yeah this is a 12.5 centimeter on the side seam front leg curve 25 centimeter and at this level that's uh, side seam measured from K from that level or from that point measure 18 centimeter 18 centimeter yeah then connect the waistline mark and 18 centimeter mark after connecting measure pocket depth 30 centimeter Thirty centimeter, twelve point five centimeter, twenty five centimeter, then eighteen centimeter, then thirty centimeter. After measuring the depth of the pocket, take a perpendicular line to the line drawn. Normally pocket can be designed with the uh, horn fold or with the seam. It uh, depends upon the pocket pouch required. The one which I am showing is horn fold. The pocket bag will be in different fabric uh, which can be taken on fold. See take a right angle here that is a perpendicular line. Then take another small right angle here right angle to the side seam just for half an inch then use French curve to shape the pocket see it can be placed like this then can be connected you can follow the placement of the French curve as I have shown for your practice later you can do it whatever shape you desire to The line red indicates the pocket back 
which exactly matches to the side seam of the front leg. That is the purpose we draft. That is the purpose we draft on the completed part, uh, draft of the leg. Uh, I have completed uh, fly, front fly which shown in green line, green sketch pen, then another pocket back draft for the front is shown with the red marker which indicates the front pocket back. Now we can separate this by tracing. After a front fly pattern and uh, front pocket bag, we have to draft uh, back pocket bag which should match with the po pocket angles. That's why we use the basic draft to draft the bag and take, take out. The width should be 17 centimeter, which should be measured from uh, center point here. This is the point, center point, equally on both sides. That's uh, 8 and half centimeter here and 8 and half centimeter towards in total 17 centimeter. give a short mark then draw a perpendicular line on both side Then measure from back waistline 21.2 centimeter. You can measure from here, from it's a ready line back waist arc line. Then take a perpendicular to the line drawn. Mark another which is uh, length of the underlay, underlay of the pocket bag. Here it, this can be folded and taken in. That depth should be 15 centimeter to 16 centimeter. Here it's a 16 centimeter. So this will be the under. pocket length this can be shown like this later tilt it for 2 cm at this pocket level see both side you can mark the pocket level then connect this line, this point to the line of the top. This should touch here. Yeah. 
see the top layer starts from here continues here then take a fold and turn it inside then it ends here the top layer continues till this layer uh, at the time of separation I'll show this in detail so that you can understand better after marking the pocket back and fly it has to be traced and taken out then made pattern as per the legs separated so take a tracing paper and the pattern paper place underneath ensure it is placed uh, exactly on the or else a person can have their own technique to trace and separate place in between the tracing paper ensure it is placed exactly on the part of the portion to be traced then use tracing wheel start from front waistline once it's traced you can take out then cut this fly is without same allowance need to give a ready fly which is uh, used to give a stitch on the left hand side fly that is a top fly a ready fly you can place it on this and check yeah then now it's without seam allowance you take another sheet trace the ready pattern ready fly pattern so you can write down on this ready fly this can be transferred to another paper to add same allowance
this is uh, trace from the ready fly, then add seam allowance. Seam allowance here based on the seam allowance given in the front leg pattern 11 millimeter that is 1.1 centimeter mark 1.1 centimeter then all round 1 centimeter Then here one centimeter. After tracing uh, from the ready fly, add one centimeter seam allowance. This is based on the seam allowance given in the front leg of the front rise. Then all around one centimeter. Then waistline, based on the waistline seam allowance given in the leg that is also 1 centimeter. Then advisable to place it on the table and cut This is a ready pattern and this will be the cut pattern traced from this. Then provide green line, then write pot name, top fly, cut how many parts, cut one. So top fly is over, now let us move to under fly which should be taken paper on fold and crease it, crease it and place ready pattern on the fold which should be aligned exactly on the fold. Ensure here it should be slightly more than the top, then trace, then add seam allowance one centimeter. Then the lower portion give two centimeter and 
slant it for one centimeter difference like this then cut provide grain line under fly cut one now we have got fly cut pattern top fly ready pattern and under fly let us now trace the front pocket bag or pouch as uh, drafted on the leg pattern. You need to crease the line shown here. Just crease it exactly on This is the line you have to crease, then take paper, need to take excess, take paper on fold, align the creased line keeping one inch up towards right hand side, then align till the bottom then hold and secure it ensure it should not it should not shift and place the tracing paper in between You can also have your technique whichever convenient otherwise this is the method can be used to trace the pocket. Yeah, Trace the waist arc of the front then trace side seam. Then trace the pocket bag shape, given in the draft. Need not to trace the straight line. Then trace the pocket opening and pocket mark at waistline. Yeah. Then you can separate it. You will get marking here. Now you can cut 
the pocket bag with the SIM allowance. See here, 1 centimeter, waistline 1 centimeter, and side seam as per the seam allowance given in the front leg. Is it 12 millimeter? Yes, you need to give 12 millimeter. After this marking, you can place the leg shape, leg shape on the marking marked on the pocket pouch and uh, waist arc, waist arc align on the mark done and ensure side seam is also matching or else is there any if there is variation can be redrawn so that the pocket pouch will match the side seam of the leg then you, you can take out you can see the pocket bag here which can be used for pocket back. Now start cutting. This is the pocket back. When you unfold, this will be like this. Now, what you need to do is place this pocket bag on the leg front leg pattern and see the alignments on both sides. Then, after that, take out this, and you have marking here for the opening. You have marking done while tracing that is a pocket opening that can be connected on drawn line then taken out see this is a pocket opening line, diagonal pocket op opening line, then give 1 centimeter here, and draw a line. This is the line where the pocket gets fold, diagonal fold. This is the line where, with, where the seam allowance is given to stitch. So now you can cut this and 
take out. See, remember this should be unfolded and uh, cut. It will be like this. Then place it on the leg. Align. Align here. with the side seam and waist arc. Ensure it is uh, aligned on both waist arc and side seam. Then trace and take out from the leg. so that now it is align each other without any difference yeah see this will be attached to here and taken out so that so that the pocket will come like this like this the underlay will be provided here so that that will be that will be attached to the pocket back after uh, cutting the the diagonal shape here that is a opening pocket opening then it can be checked keeping here and taking it so that here the underlay can be given. As I told, this will be the pocket bag which falls under trims, separate pocket bag fabric, not the self fabric. Fabric may not be the same. So, we need to take a pocket lay that is a underlay piece to be given cut on self fabric. Now, to this you show a seam allowance. Now this is a cut pattern. Yeah. Then give a similar green line which should be parallel to the fold or you can place this here, I mean align on the leg, then take the parallel line by marking. See how do you mark? Here you need to use a tool called a owl which is to be pierced and taken grain line. Yeah. So what I do is I will just measure a parallel line <coughs> then this marking can be taken inside Remember this to be parallel to the crease line given on the leg. Then draw a line which indicates the seam allowance. Now you, you have to mention the part name. Pocket bag cut one pair or two. See, you can also specify front pocket back size 32 as we mentioned in all the parts. As we mentioned earlier parts. Now, making a uh, inlay, pocket inlay, we should be cut on the uh, cell fabric. 
Now take a piece of paper like this and place the pocket bag which already made like this, then trace the outer edge. See here from this mark approximately one and a half to two inch more. So trace the entire outline and trace the pocket bag that is a pocket bag opening from here to here or you can here also you can use a peer tool to mark this opening point then take out from this point you should also mark the opening then from this mark this can be one one and a half inch and here it should go five centimeter down your 2.5 centimeter to 4 centimeter. Now here to give a shape you can tilt it for 1 1 and half centimeter which is less than this width. Then draw a line from this 3 centimeter or 4 centimeter mark then tilt it again 1 centimeter to this level 1 centimeter tilt then cut this lay pocket lay placed here cut on self fabric whereas this bag is some other fabric sheeting or uh, uh, satin fabric see this to be stitched first then pocket is closed now grain line for this you can take uh, always uh, parallel line you can place here or normally we place here then take parallel line by measure measuring parallel from the existing grind line in the pocket back. or you can take the front leg align here see this gives complete leg shape then take parallel measurement then give a green line. You can mention pocket, lay, cut, one pair or two, size 32. Then indicate the seam allowance all around one centimeter which I have cut including
then here it's uh, as per the side seam of the front leg that is 12 mm. This is as per the waist arc. Now we have finished uh, pocket bag, pocket lay, pocket bag, pocket lay, top fly, top fly cut pattern and under fly all derived from the draft made uh, earlier. Now let us move to make a pocket back for the back hip pocket uh, already drawn on the back pocket placement this you need to crease crease on the line shown in the placement of the pocket pouch then take a sufficient width of paper piece fold and crease it then place tissue paper or carbon paper tracing paper then align on the line creased then turn it yeah now trace we stock ignore the dot leg that can be adjusted and trace the portion of shape given and trace the two bottom end lines. Of course, you can also trace the pocket position. So, the operator, the tailor will make out the positioning of the pocket back with the leg. So, remove then join all the markings
is the pocket positioning then add seam allowance one centimeter then cut Now you have to just show the indication, yeah. Then notch it. When you unfold, this will be like this. Give a green line, which should be perpendicular to the bottom fold line. and right part name back pocket bag cut optional if one single pocket it's a cut one if it is two cut two depend upon number of pocket provided in the back paste size 32 so pocket back pocket back pouch for back hip pocket now let us make a loops loops attached to the waistband to insert waist belt Normally loop width is kept narrower that is 1 centimeter then length can be up to 4 centimeter. The number of loops can be decided based on the waist circumference. In this case waist circumference is 32 so we can have 3 loops on each side that is 3 in left and 3 in right so you can do the calculations the width the width of the loops is 1 centimeter then fold another 1 centimeter then seam allowance another 1 centimeter for 1 centimeter loop you need to take a 3 centimeter 3 centimeter width then draw a straight line draw perpendicular anywhere it can be one continuous strip or else it can be 
one strip kick, then mention cut to so that two pieces will be cut and made uh, continuous loops and separated based on the loop lengths. Here in this case each loop will have 4 centimeter. So 4 into 3 12 centimeter. Each loop uh, need to have 2 centimeter seam allowance to attach. So 2 plus 4 6 6 into 3 18 centimeter length can be taken for 3 loops. So make uh, 18 centimeter and mention cut to provide green line. The dimension of the loop pattern is 3 into 18 so you can have 3 loops with the seam allowance. belt loops cut 2 so 3 into 2 6 loops after stitching separate make 3 equal loops then attach to the waistband with this we have completed all the patterns now let us move to make a notch marks which helps the operator to stitch or follow the seam allowance provided in the patterns. Now let us take the waistband. If you take waistband See this can be kept together, see it will be like this left and right waistband and made notches together using notch player. The notch player which I have shown earlier for making notches, notches are to indicate seam allowance fold allowance yeah then this can be separated because left and right are different so these are the notch marks notch marks provided on the pattern Coming to the pocket bag, back pocket pouch notch mark is done on the seam line. Then legs and waistband pocket pouches made using the legs. See this can be aligned together. Ensure the alignment and make notches one at side seam, 
one on the pocket opening. Then place it together with the back leg. See here the seam allowance of a side seam in front and back are same. So you can place the front and back together and make notches. Then notch mark on the dot intake, notch mark at waistline, then notch mark on center front. Center front can be made along with the fly, fly, so that marking will be completed. Then move to the leg, bottom fold and fold and keep together front and back, front and back, then make a cut. Then repeat and place here and make path. Then move here, align together and give a side seam notch. Can be re repeated to other leg also, I mean other side of the leg that is the inseam and give a cut mark. Yeah. See, move here the knee line, thigh line and give inseam notch mark. Yeah. With this uh, we are successfully completing the trouser pattern with all the parts, all the parts front pocket back, front leg, back leg, front pocket back back pocket back, waistband left and right and top fly, under fly, pocket inlay, pocket inlay, then loop pat, uh, fly ready pattern and loop pattern. See with this, uh, it is ready to cut on the fabric and sew. How come to the end of this unit? To summarize, in this unit, you have learned how to separate the patterns from the master draft.